Welcome back to part 3 of manual testing interview question series. Let's begin. First question is, what is a test environment? An environment is a platform upon which a software is tested first. Once the software is ready, it will be tested in different stages of environment to stabilize the software. Basically, whatever the code that we get, whatever the changes made by the developers will have to test it in some lower environments such as a staging environment or pre-production environment so then only it can be moved to the higher environment that is the production environment before deploying a module or software or piece of code to the production it must be tested at different levels okay and what is the test plan what does it include? A test plan refers to a detailed document that catalogues the test strategy, objectives, schedule, estimations, deadlines and the resources required for completing a particular project. And uh, this test plan is a detailed document of all this combination and in, um, uh, you know, usually in organization manager prepares this. But it is not always mandatory that manager should prepare it. In one of my uh, project, I was preparing the test plan. So it is just a documentation that consists of all the details of what is required. Let's see what uh, it includes. It includes test strategy, brief introduction, items to be tested or what is a test scope, resource planning, approach of testing, acceptance criteria, suspension or resumption uh, requirements which is entry criteria and exit criteria test deliverables testing tasks environmental requirement risk and contingencies so these items it includes and it differs from organization to organization because that is a documentation which is already been prepared at the project level okay so it differs so majorly it consists of something like this all these information like the environment requirements and then uh, resource planning test scope entry and exit criteria these are all the things that will be mandatory to include mention some of the common mistakes that lead to major issues so this is quite frequently asked uh, in your uh, organization what is some of the issue that you have faced uh, which has led to the major problem. So this could be an, um, uh, you know, question to an experienced candidate. Poor scheduling, underestimating, ignoring small issues, not following the exact process, improper resource allocation. So these are quite simple but underestimating is something while estimating a particular story we should estimate it properly if a, a, a task requires a complete day to be completed but if we are estimating it as one hour or two hours so that is where it becomes an underestimation to the particular task that we should not do what is defect in software testing defects are basically a deviation from the expected outcome testing needs to begin early in the development process since defects can be found throughout defects are not mandatory to be found out in the testing phase itself early in the development stages also they find and then they fix it so defects are uh, majorly divided into three main categories wrong requirement specification so wrong requirement specification it implies incorrect uh, implementation of the requirement there is a variance between specification and uh, what was expected resulting in the dis, uh, in this type of defect so which means that um, while writing the requirement itself if something has missed or something is wrongly specified for example this is uh, something which happened uh, to me in real uh, so the filter functionality which was implemented by the developer was completely wrong actually filter functionality should work in the way that once I apply a filter for example let me take you an uh, example of Zomato suppose if I uh, select pure wedge or pure non wedge 
after that i can i have option to choose you know um, other option like fast delivery you know and the filter is how it is and condition so first it will filter with the pure wedge okay and then it will filter with the fast delivery but it was not working as expected it was working in or condition so that was a wrong implementation and missing requirement this indicates that specification has not been implemented or um, the requirement of the customer has not been properly noted sometimes while uh, you know preparing the requirement documentation something might have been missed which leads to the missing requirement extra uh, which is an extra additional something which is not required but it has been additionally added okay in that case also there is a chance of chance that it leads to a defect in case of uh, extra the defect is caused by requirement incorporated into the product that was not provided by the end user and the next question going ahead uh, what is defect leakage as the name suggests defect leakage in the sense it occurs on the customer or end user side after the delivery of the application once the application has been released to the client if the end user gets any kind of defects using the application it is called defect leakage a tester while testing he might not have noticed that issue and it went to the production now that particular defect is been pushed to a, a production environment and that is how it was leaked so that um, criteria is called as defect leakage okay this defect leakage is also called as bug leakage what is boundary value analysis bva or boundary value analysis is a black box testing technique that uses boundary values to uh, test um so as the name suggests we are testing a particular boundary let me uh, tell you take an example there is a text box which accepts the value between uh, 1 to 100 but if i enter value uh, which is consider age which should be between 1 to 100 or 0 to 100 but suppose if i am giving something like 120 or 130 it should not accept so that will that should be a condition now so in that case what i'll do i'll enter the value 0 and also i'll enter the value 100 so these are the boundaries okay in this technique we'll um, check the boundaries whether these are working fine or not input nearby uh, sorry input values near the boundary have higher probability of error so bva is used to test boundary value analysis so in this case what happens suppose if i'm entering something like 101 it should immediately stop me and throw me an error so this is what are the expectations should be that is what we will test in boundary value analysis and if i give negative values it should not accept that value suppose if i give less than zero which is minus one or minus two if i give that value it should not accept if the input falls within the boundary range then uh, the test is positive if it falls outside then it is negative it is tested with minimum value maximum value and in between range and also we can just check in between range like something like 50 or 60 70 if we check between uh, 0 and 100 that will be a within the range that we are testing explain software testing life cycle and this is kind of mandatory question that uh, most of the interview will have stlc and defect life cycle okay so stlc is a sequence of different activities performed by the testing team to ensure the quality of the software or the product let's see uh, how the flow goes so and it is better to diagrammatically represent to the interviewer saying that this is how the flow goes first is requirement analysis okay when we start before we uh, start testing we have to first analyze the requirement and we will prepare the test plan 
then the test case design environment setup environment is something where we will test the application and test execution after the text uh, test execution last step is test closure so this is the flow of the stlc model and you can explain each of these terms in detail also if uh, if it is required okay and what is monkey testing a technique of software testing where the application is tested by ingesting inputs randomly this test does not follow any predefined set of rules it is carried out to check the behavior of the application uh, so mainly if i have uh, a software right now in front of me i don't know what to do so what i'll do i'll just go ahead and click somewhere around it i'll just go and click that this uh, you know each of the module i'll go and test some things so where i don't know what is uh, what i have to do right so this condition is called as monkey testing i'm just going through the application like randomly putting some values i don't know what exactly i have to perform there will be no test case for this monkey uh, testing the purpose of monkey testing is to find bugs and errors in the software application using experimental technique okay using experimental technique so uh, this is about monkey testing so these are the this is the third part stay tuned for the fourth part thanks for watching bye bye